Hi, welcome to our regular monthly updates from the orchard. We're starting this one in May. What can we see in the orchard this month? Well, of course, the cow parsley's appeared now, gradually um, coming into flower, bringing in tons of predators and uh, pollinating insects, which we're always pleased to see. We're also seeing a decline in the nettles in a lot of areas uh, as they are replaced by the cow parsley. A lot of the trees are finishing their blossom. The cider apples are just in full flower at the moment, particularly the dabonets. And I've had to remove quite a few flowers from the young trees, as you can see on Instagram. And the reason being, I want to promote growth for the first three to five years. So that's all the sort of thing that I've been doing. And I've also been feeding um, quite a few trees um, in the orchard with seaweed. So I'm using my normal approach of root drench and uh, foliar drench to really promote the, the growth of those. The other thing that we've been doing is we've been creating habitat for pollinating insects and also um, biodiversity in general, different burrowing insects, predatory insects. We've been putting in bug hotels, um, big logs with holes drilled in. We're creating beetle habitat at the same time. And just recently, I've been making sandy habitats with flint and sand to really create somewhere for the sand burrowing insects to live. These are all really important things. And if you don't do that, sort of groundwork early on in an orchard, you tend to find eventually you run out of predators. So there's two things really to focus on in May. One is keeping the trees nutritionally balanced. Um, they've had plenty of water. There's no problem with drought here. And also making sure that I tip out the, the flowers and make sure that they don't become uh, you know, upset by having too many flowers. So all of that is work that I've done in May and it seems to be working quite well at the moment. So we'll see what happens in June.